Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today, we're gonna to be talking about acoustic transparent screens, or sometimes referred to as an AT screen. Now, about 15 years ago, my theater room did not have this massive screen. I started out with a 103 inch elite screen and it was non-acoustic transparent, which basically meant that I had to place my center channel way up high and angle that down towards my listening position. And honestly, that was never really optimal. It was weird having sound travel from a left speaker to a center speaker that was like, I don't know, six foot, seven foot up in the air and then back down to a front speaker. And so I wanna share with you kind of how we built our um, acoustic transparent screen, some reasons that I'm really, really loving the acoustic transparent screen. So if you're building a home theater or maybe you're considering upgrading, it might be something that you want to consider for your setup. And so one of the major benefits of having an acoustic transparent screen is being able to have your speakers directly behind the screen. So when you go to the movie theater, your local cinema, that's exactly what they have. They have an acoustic transparent screen, massive speakers behind them. And so everything that you see on screen is basically the sound is coming right from where that action is taking place. So if you can imagine up here, if there's somebody speaking over here, the left speaker is going to be playing the sound directly where it is on the screen. Same thing, all the dialogue in the center channel is gonna be right here. And then my right speaker over there as well. And so that is a huge, huge benefit. Last night I was watching a movie and that's what got me thinking about this video. I loved being able to hear everything being placed exactly where it was on my screen. Now, one thing that you wanna be careful of is I've heard some guys say that, you know, it's better to put your left speaker and your right speaker outside of your, uh, your screen, especially if you have a small acoustic transparent screen and you place all your speakers behind, behind there, you don't have a ton of separation between say the left and the right speaker and it can collapse your imaging, okay? So it's not gonna be this broad image. In my case, it actually works out really well. Number one, because I've got a 150 inch diagonal. This uh, screen is about 12 and a half feet wide and it pretty much almost fills the width of my room. My room's 13 feet wide. And the other benefit is I actually sit pretty close. This front seat, uh, my primary listening position right here is nine feet from the screen. So it's pretty close and a lot of guys will kind of say, well, that's really too close. I don't have the depth in this room. This cabinet's about four feet thick and I'll show you the inside in just a minute. Because it comes out here, I've only got like four feet of space right here in the front. And then I've got a second row and that second row is pretty much right up against the back wall. So I just don't have the ability to push these chairs back further, but I can assure you, I absolutely love having a 150 inch screen, even at nine foot, man, it's incredibly immersive, but I've never once watched it and got a headache or never once watched it and thought, man, I wish my screen was smaller. And so I'm gonna talk through a couple of things about the acoustic transparent screen. I'll tell you what I went with, and I'll also tell you some other alternatives um, that definitely can save you some money. So a couple of things with acoustic transparent screens. I went with the Seymour Center Stage XD uh, fabric. And so the cool thing is with Seymour, you can actually buy their fabric, build a frame, which I had a friend of mine build and construct an aluminum frame. I'll show you that in a minute. And basically you stretch that on there and we used um, kind of like you do with a screened in porch. So you have a, you know, you have your fabric and then you've got the, um, like the rubber gasket. I don't even know properly what it's called, but basically you, the spline. So you put the rubber spline in there to hold it taut. And so I love this fabric. Number one, it is crazy durable. Like you can see it waves a little bit, but it's super tight. I've taken a butter knife to this thing when we were trying to install it because we actually bought spline that was too thick and I had no fear of cutting this or ripping this. It's like that durable. So that's one thing I really love about this. It's easy to clean. I can take a, just a wet white, uh, like a washcloth with just some water and wipe it down and it cleans up really, really easily. So I definitely highly recommend, I think I paid probably $360 for a hundred and, 
50 inches of fabric and I actually went a little bit bigger. If you're gonna do a, um, an acoustic transparent screen, especially a weave, um, like a woven fabric, they recommend that you actually angle the fabric. And so we actually ordered a little bit extra fabric so that we could turn it sideways a little bit so it's at an angle. And then we trimmed off the extra that was on that. And so let's go ahead and take a look behind here. I'll kind of talk you through um, and kind of show you how I've got it set up behind my system. So if I open it up here, just like a little latch, and then I've got gas shocks on mine to hold this up. And then I also have a, a light switch under here. I'm doing this backwards, so there we go. And then I also have an LED strip that's down here on the bottom. And so I'll bleep it so it doesn't affect yours. Alexa, speaker lights on. And so then I've just got a blue strip right here that, that kind of illuminates my speakers and subwoofers. So here you can see I've got my LCR, three identical speakers, and I really, really recommend if you're going with an acoustic transparent screen, there's no reason why you can't do three identical speakers. Having three identical speakers behind an acoustic transparent screen gives you an absolutely seamless transition when sound travels from one speaker to the next. And so here you can see I've got three JTR 212 HTR speakers for my LCR and then dual JTR RS2 Captivator uh, subwoofer. So these are dual 18s, 4,000 watt continuous in a sealed um, configuration, sealed subwoofer design. And so a lot of people ask, Michael, doesn't all this bass behind here shake the screen? Well, of course it does shakes my entire house. It's not gonna stop me from shaking the screen, but it does not affect the image quality absolutely whatsoever. And so I'm not gonna go through exactly how we built this. I actually did a video a while back talking about uh, more about the screen. So I'll link that in a playlist down below if you're interested in that. But like I said, this is just an aluminum extruded or extruded aluminum frame um, that was welded together. And then we put black velvet on the outside around the border just to take care of any image spill um, that extended beyond the frame. And then I use gas shocks to support it so I can easily get access behind here. Now, some things that I've learned over the years after building this, um, you may or may not want to put your speakers on a platform. So if you've got tower speakers, do not do this. And here's the main reason. It's gonna put your tweeter like way up here and because that tweeter up here is very directional, so the sound is actually gonna be traveling above your head. So as you can see here, an MTM configuration where you've got a woofer, a tweeter and mid-range, and then a woofer, that type of design works really well for this because my ears are pretty much right here at the bottom of this tweeter, and we've got some vertical dispersion here, so it has no problem with that sound reaching my ears. Um, at ear level when I'm sitting down in the chair. So another reason why I love acoustic transparent screens is because if you build them yourself, they're super, super affordable. There's a couple of companies I want you to check out. Seymour makes incredible screens, very affordable. There's another one that's probably even more affordable than that. It's called Carl's Place. They also sell fabric. And then the really inexpensive DIY uh, acoustic fabric that that probably is the most affordable option is a spandex screen and a lot of guys will take I think they do like a white spandex in front and then put a black spandex in the back that kind of helps the uh, some of the light from bleeding through you know as much but it also provides better contrast for the image and I recently did a home theater tour in an entire DIY setup and that's exactly what he was using and Charles's home theater is incredible. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll leave a link to his home theater also down in the description below. So another reason why I really like going with an AT screen is it allows me to have just a really clean front sound stage. So when this is closed, you know, all we see is, you know, my cabinet, it's a custom cabinet, but maybe you don't want to see a cabinet. Maybe you just rather be like Charles and you have a, a black frame that's all around this and everything's hidden. I chose to go with a cabinet because I needed somewhere to have and house all my equipment. Now, another fun reason I went with an AT screen is I wanted to be able to illuminate behind the screen 
when the screen is kind of down and in its normal position. I wanted to be able to tell her to, um, you know, reveal the lights. So to turn on this set of LED strips here, and I've also got some other lights up here on the top. Mostly those are just illuminating the back and that's controlled with a switch. But as you can see here, I can easily reveal my speakers and show somebody who's never been to my home and we can see those speakers even without lifting up the screen. It kind of gives it that, remember the IMAX demonstrations they used to do and they would show you and reveal the speakers behind the screen. That's really the, the effect I was going for. I super, super love being able to do that with an AT screen. Now by putting the screen on gas shocks, as you can see, I've just got really easy access behind the screen. I can lift it up, really no problem. I can do it with one hand. Um, and I just have a latch here that locks down to this lock right here. So it's just super, super convenient for that. So we'll go ahead and close this. And I wanna share you one more reason why I love having the acoustic transparent screen. And one final benefit that I can see from having an acoustic transparent screen is it just allows for a really clean install on your front setup. And so as you can see, we don't see my speakers, they're out of sight but at any moment I can reveal those with the lighting or I can lift up the screen so that I can show friends um, and guests into our home. Now you may not want a custom cabinet like I did. I wanted something different than anybody else has. And so this is 100% custom. I've actually got a walkthrough um, of my home theater build that I go through a lot of detail on how this was constructed and show some of that background. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the video down in the description below. But a lot of guys will go with a black, um, either a velvet around the top, the sides, the bottom, um, however you wanna do it. Design it the way that you want. Uh, the one thing that I would mention is just make sure that you have it high enough that your back row is able to easily see the bottom of the screen. The last thing you wanna do is mount this too low and then that back row is seeing the heads of the people in front of them. So another reason why I pulled this up just a little bit, but ideally you want your eyes to be somewhere in line with probably the bottom third of your screen. That just allows it to be a comfortable position so that your neck isn't looking up. If you mount your screen too high, it's gonna put some strain on your neck. Um, so, but I just couldn't go any lower than this because of the back row and also because all of my equipment is right here inside this cabinet. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe because I've got some really exciting news I'll be sharing with you in the coming weeks, plus a whole host of product reviews that I've got in currently. Well, I hope you have an incredible week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.